and then we we're gonna destroy this enemy game object so we need to open up the player bullet uh, bullet script okay player bullet script so let's open that up open that up in visual studio open that up in visual studio okay so it is enemy over here you can see uh, this function calls whenever the bullet collide with something okay or trigger with something so if the uh, if uh, and the game object has whatever uh, whatever with this uh, this bullet uh, trigger with and the tag of that uh, game object is enemy so we are uh, we are printing out this heated enemy uh, enemy message so instead of uh, uh, doing this we're gonna destroy that enemy game object okay we we gonna destroy that enemy game object so what we gonna do uh, we gonna do over here like destroy we need to use destroy function to destroy that game object destroy other okay other that dot game object so what we are doing uh, so so we do we using the destroy function and other dot game objects means uh, that game object whatever this bullet collide with we also need to destroy the uh, the our uh, bullet script player bullet script and also uh, also gonna uh, also need to destroy uh, other uh, other dot game object so let's uh, come it will compile okay it will compile so you will able to see that uh, this game object will destroy okay uh, the enemy game object will destroy okay so if i now play okay if i now play if i now play you will able to see that enemy game object getting destroyed okay so we are gonna click left okay so as you can see that's gone as you can see that's gone that's uh, that's get destroyed okay that's get destroyed okay that's get destroyed but but we're gonna we're gonna like uh, we uh, we're gonna shoot three bullets and after that this will uh, destroy okay enemy game object will destroy after getting three bullets hit with okay so uh, the enemy will have uh, like uh, three three life okay three in uh, three life so we're gonna open the enemy okay we're gonna open the we uh, so we have to go to first uh, that uh, uh, that uh, bullet script okay bullet script wherever we just uh, destroying it okay we don't want to do that uh, we want to do we want to do firstly we're gonna uh, we're gonna check if uh, if the enemy ha enemy uh, health is le less okay we're gonna uh, we're gonna do like public okay public integer we will call it max health okay max health max health okay we're gonna set it like to three three by default okay this is integer value so you don't need to put f after after it okay so max health is three okay max health is is three so what we're gonna do we're gonna create a function okay we're gonna create a function and uh, so over here to create a function you just need to do public okay public void okay we we gonna access this uh, this uh, uh, this uh, function so that's why we are making it public okay public void we will call take damage take damage okay and uh, into into a parenthesis it will take argument it integer we will call it damage okay damage we will call it damage so what we gonna do uh, we gonna do uh, we gonna minor uh, we gonna uh, we gonna subtract uh, subtracts uh, by this amount okay so we gonna uh, we gonna replace this by with real number one okay firstly what we are doing we are setting the max health to three okay three and then Oh, uh, whenever this uh, this function get trigger it will subtract from uh, one one okay that uh, so this will be max max health will become two and then if we subtract one uh, against 
so that uh, that will be one and we subtract once more one uh, as one this becomes one and minusing one so becomes zero if it's became uh, if so so the if the max health became zero okay if the max health became zero we're gonna destroy that uh, we're gonna destroy enemy okay so what we have to say we let's go to up, uh, update function over here we say if max health okay if max health okay lesser than or equal to zero okay zero okay what we gonna go what we know uh, what we gonna do we're gonna destroy this game object itself okay destroy this this dot game object means itself gonna itself gonna destroy okay firstly what we are doing we are setting setting the max health uh, to three unit okay and then whenever this function get call okay we will call we uh, call this function uh, another script with uh, a different script okay and uh, whenever and then we're gonna subtract uh, from the max health from this uh, damage okay so let's say for we set damage to one so max health is three so three minus one becomes two again if we call this function again so uh, this is two and again this is we are minusing one so it becomes uh, this becomes one and one minus one becomes zero so max health becomes zero uh, if it's zero we are destroying itself okay we are destroying that game object so we need to call this function okay we need to call this function uh, control s okay control s on your keyboard to save this and head back to unity okay head back to unity control s and head back to unity just wait for so so uh, where where we gonna do in the bullet script we gonna do okay uh, open the bullet okay open the bullet script player bullet script okay player bullet script over here uh, instead of destroying the game uh, game object we gonna call that function okay firstly we gon going to other okay other dot uh we gonna go to other dot game object whatever we collided with game object dot get component okay get component what component we are uh, going to take enemy component okay enemy enemy okay enemy and then we we gonna call that take damage function okay we are calling the take them as an argument we're gonna pass one okay one so one unit will be subtract okay so firstly uh, firstly the bullet triggering with enemy okay triggering with enemy and then we are going to that game game object okay uh, means the enemy enemy game object and we are accessing the enemy script okay and this enemy script and then we are accessing the take damage function as an argument we are passing one okay as an argument we are passing one as a damage parameter okay as a damage parameter we are passing one so uh, so what we are doing one second uh, so control s on your keyboard okay head back to unity i i will explain once again okay i will explain once again so so it's completing domain okay so if i go to enemy okay uh, as you can see max health is three okay if i now play if I now play, uh, if the max health becomes zero, uh, the, the game object get destroyed. The game object get automatically destroyed. Okay. Now, if I just uh, left mouse button, just three. Okay. Didn't touch it. So one, two, three. As you can see, it's get destroyed. Wow. Once again, we're going to play. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, we don't need to know we don't need to do that so what we are doing firstly firstly if i go to bullet okay this bullet script this this is a player bullet script okay opening that up if this player bullet okay if this if i drag uh, drag from uh, into this in view if this uh, if this uh, if this colliding with or triggering with this enemy okay 
uh, colliding with enemy okay so this function over here on trigger inter function getting called okay on trigger and and we are checking if the game if whatever we colliding with if the uh, game object has stack enemy uh, then we uh, then we printing out this heated uh, heated enemy message uh, as as you can see we we tag this uh, game object as enemy okay enemy so going uh, so what we are going so we going to that game object whatever we collided with okay that game object and we are we are accessing the enemy script we are so we have to write this get component and we, okay firstly we are going to this game object okay then we are accessing this enemy script okay enemy script and then enemy script has function take damage function if i open up the enemy script okay I have, uh, over here as you can see uh, so we are accessing this uh, function over there okay this okay firstly going to that game object then accessing the enemy script then accessing the take damage function okay as an argument over here passing one uh, if i go to uh, go to enemy uh, enemy class okay enemy class uh, as a we a replacing we are replacing this damage with that one okay that's what's happening so so this is for now we will cover some uh, some some changes in the next video and uh, thanks for watching if you are new to my channel then subscribe for new videos okay i will explain in depth if you are and if you are a beginner okay so thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching lastly Goodbye.